Well, good morning. I am super excited for today because today we are installing our air conditioning unit. It is a 12 volt air conditioning unit that draws almost no power. So I'm very excited about that. And that may come as a surprise to anybody that knows anything about van life AC units. They all seem to require shore power. And that's not something we wanna do. We wanna have a self-sufficient van that can run purely off solar. Um, so let me show you what we have here. This is a 12 volt AC system by Fraser. It is a water-based uh, cooling system. Here is the tank for the water. This is not your typical water-based AC system. Uh, some people call those swamp systems. Those, are, those swamp systems live inside your van and all of that moisture gets trapped in the van, whereas this unit sits on top of the roof and runs the water through a pine filter system to keep that humidity and moisture out of the van. So I'm super pumped about this and it works extremely well. So today we will get it installed. Good morning, Hi, Chloe. Has died my best buddy on work first. You're gonna work with me because I'm your best buddy. Yay! Bus. And then we can ride bikes. Yeah, because I am your best buddy. All right, so I already have a spot picked out for the AC unit. It's going to go right here, which is why we have left this spot bare so far. Is that a good spot? Yeah. And then next I have to figure out a spot for the water tank. I'm thinking it's going to live underneath this bench. I am going to have it hooked up to a pressurized system. Hey, it's a water so when, tank right here. It is a water tank. So when uh, the AC unit runs out of water, I can flip a switch and fill it back up with water coming from our fresh tank. All right, so they send you this cardboard cutout, which gives you the dimensions that you need to cut out. And then we will use this to line it up. What did I say? The uh, wide knot goes to the front or to the back? I think you said the... You said it was backwards from what you thought it was? Rewind the tape. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We'll go gosh. with back. No, we'll go with front. Front. Definitely front. Should you get down and check again? Yeah. Do you want me to check? <laughs> oh, goodness. I mean, this is like, we can't just go buy a new van if you cut the wrong hole. Yeah, hey, we should check. Were you right? Confused. This goes up here. Yeah, I was right, to the front of the van. So, just for the record, how long have you been wearing those clothes that you're wearing right now? About two weeks. <laughs> I changed my shirt, but I only have, I don't know, they're work pants. They get, they get dirty. You look good, babe. Don't judge me. <laughs> Couldn't find my pack of uh, blades. You want a fresh blade for this. The doll one will work too. Ooh, it's wibbly. <laughs> oh boy. Oops. I broke the bit. Well, now I definitely have to find package of bits. When can I come up the van? You want to come up the van? Yeah, the house call. All right, Chloe, you ready? Yeah. Buddy? Hi, Daddy. You having fun up here? Yeah. Other, and I'm not side? afraid of heights anymore. Did you used to be afraid of heights? Yeah. Are you afraid of heights anymore? No. Are you brave? Good job. And daddy and mommy are making sure you're safe. Hi Alexa. Can Everything you see okay? your sister? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, wave at your sister. <laughs> Hi you? Chloe! I can see flowers from here. That's awesome. Look down there. Flowers. <laughs> and a bunny over there. All right, so now that we have our hole drilled out, get ready to mount the fan. This is currently sitting on two boxes, so you can see the top of it. And it's very thin, a very thin profile. This is the pine filter that keeps the moisture out. And the way you access the, uh, the mounting bolts is by taking this off. 
Hey, buddy, mommy's busy and can't help me. Can you hold the camera while I work on this? Mm hmm. All right. Hold it up high like this. And don't drop it. Good job. So there's two small tabs, and then you kind of weasel this filter out of uh, its spot, and then you'll twist it like so, and then that'll reveal all of the mounting options. So they give you a bunch of different options here to mount, um, but we're gonna use the ones that are labeled universal, and um, that will match up to the holes that we drilled. Did I drill those yet? Now, the holes that we will drill. So the next step is to dry fit this in and then pre-drill the holes out. So we're gonna carry this up onto the roof. The nice thing about this thing is it only weighs, I don't know, 20 pounds maybe. Um, a lot of the Freon based systems are like 120 pounds and they're impossible to get on the roof. So this guy's a breeze. I picked it up myself. So all the water that rises up get into a cloud and then they, all the drops clump together and, and it rains. Yeah. They're so heavy that the, but it, they drop. Alexa was just explaining to me about evaporation, but that's, I don't even think you know, that's how this works. Really? Yeah. So this is our air conditioning unit that makes it cold inside of the van. And you see these pipes right here? It'll pump water up into here and a fan blows and it evaporates the water into the air. It actually cools everything down that way. Cool. Yeah, isn't that neat? So this is what it looks like from the inside. You can kind of see a pretty tight pattern cut out there. You can cut a wider notch if you want. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this a little bit wider here just to make sure there's no rubbing against any of the lines. Did I mess up? I think I messed up. I'm actually starting to second guess myself. That square hole I think is supposed to be on that side. I think it's supposed to be flipped. Yeah, hold on. I gotta look at the directions. Nope, I got it right. Ugh. Why am I second guessing myself? All right, so now that we have these holes punched in, I'm gonna go ahead and build some cross brace support, uh, both to make the roof a little bit more rigid, but primarily just to give that bolt something else to grab onto. So now is the fun part of raising up the curved uh, ribs of the roof in order to make one flat seam in order to keep water out of the van. Very important part. So I'm gonna use a combination of these rubber seals at different thicknesses as well as um, beetle tape. And then I will stick a flex around everything um, as well. Um, and whenever I seal things, I always have two lines of defense. So I'm gonna put an inner line of defense and then an outer, li outer line of defense. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so now that I have this first layer laid down and kind of all flattened out, I'm gonna go back around all of these seams and Sikaflex the inside side and the outside. This is Sikaflex 221. It's a sealant and adhesive, and that'll be part of the second layer of defense.
it's hot outside. I'm excited for some air conditioning. But man, that heat, that sun coming down, it is brutal on the roof. So you really got to be careful that you don't over tighten these because it'll crack the housing up top. So I just had Heather tighten these for me while I watched it, made sure it wasn't flexing too much. And then this may seem like overkill, but I'm going to go ahead and put a, another layer of Sikaflex just to make sure that we could drive this thing through a hurricane without leaking. All right, so you put these red plastic or rubber caps over these to protect everything up. And then we will put the, uh, ah, I stepped in my second flex. That's nasty. Oh. It's almost too thin of a profile. You can barely get the screws in. So the really unique thing about this and what's awesome is it's such a thin, slim profile that you can actually put solar panels right over top of it and it'll still operate just fine. So just when I was getting ready to show you the finished product, a flock of birds fly by and just start dropping bombs all over my van. I barely made it out alive. But anyways, this is what it looks like. A very thin and slim profile, very stealthy. I'm very pleased with how it turned out. This tank uh, fits underneath our bed, takes up almost no room at all. And I've just drilled out these holes and on the other side as well. And I'm gonna start hooking things up. Do you wanna see how I cut a wire? I would love to see how you cut a wire. Okay. So this wire right here, I need you to cut this, okay? Here you go. Use two hands. Oh my goodness, you did it with one hand. What? One hand. You wanna do another one? No, I was, I was supposed to whip nope. it off. I used to whip it off. I'll do that part, okay? Can you cut this wire too? Oh my goodness, oh my you're so goodness, strong. Oh my goodness, Chloe. Okay. <laughs> okay, Miss Taylor. We've got our water tank mounted here. I fished all of the water pipes through the walls. I need to tape this up, but that'll be covered once we put our walls up. And we are cutting and splicing our wire to tap it into the main system up there. Looking good. And then we get to test it out. Woohoo! Oh, I have another wire for you to cut. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. So strong. Chloe. Now can I pull? I'll pull oh, this. Oh, you want to pull it? Okay. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Chloe's These an expert electrician. Wires. I'll put this. These together. And now I have to start the whole thing again and bring it back up. Start it all over again. Oh my goodness, Chloe. Did you wire that electrical box? Yeah. Good job. It's more like a timer. Is it like a timer? Yeah, kind of. Can I go on my bike? Okay, go ride your bike. Now you're a cat. Because if you jump without falling, then you're a cat. If you fall, you're a dog. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna I'm gonna spill. Yeah, this is a bad idea. It's oh gosh. So this is not how you're supposed to feel it. <laughs> There probably isn't enough water in there. All right, who's got a funnel? We need a funnel. Uh, Alexa might have one in her science kit. I tell you, sometimes it pays to have children. Whoa! My <laughs> funnel. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> she even found it for me. Look at yep. this fancy little tool I have here. What is that? I don't really know, but when you touch it, it makes beepy noises. <laughs> And a little bit of a spark. You see I'm that spark? Squirrelin. I want to see the spark. Pretty cool. I'm just, I'm done for today, but eventually this oh. goes. Well, I can hook into that funnel. Yeah. <laughs>
this flexible hose will hook up to our freshwater tank. So at once a week or whatever, yeah. you just turn a dial and it fills that up again and you're good Whoa, to go. That'd be nice. All right. So, is it gonna work? Wow. <laughs> it works! Ooh. What? It works! Oh my goodness! So now it's sucking up water. This pump just turned mm, on. Yes. And it's pumping water up through the walls into here. Cool. And then it'll start to evaporate the water. That's what I was saying on the Yeah. She just learned how to ride without training wheels. Yep. Whoa. Oh, wait. Did you realize that your <laughs> handlebars are backwards? <laughs> All right, really quick, because I promised uh, the pros and cons of this system. The pros are that in the right conditions, the right climate, this will actually perform better than a Freon traditional heavy AC system. Uh, in a very hot, dry climate especially, you could see a 40, sometimes even a 50 degree drop in temperature, whereas a standard Freon system will only give you a 20 to 25 degree drop. Um, today, in this moment, we are in about the worst possible uh, time to test it out because one, it's not that hot out. It's only about 79 degrees out um, and it's extremely humid. So, all right, so just to take an air temperature reading, I'm just gonna measure off of this chair right here because it's getting blasted by the outside air and it's 79.8 degrees, almost 80. And we are kicking out, good grief, that's impressive. 57, it's still co cooling down. We are re we're measuring 50 degrees. 50 degree air. Honestly, that blows my mind. It's 80 degrees outside, super humid. This thing is kicking out 50 degree air. I'm so pumped, that's a 30 degree drop. That's more than our house will kick out and I'll go and improve it. I haven't tested this yet, but I'm positive. If I kick on the AC system and I measure the vents, it will not be that efficient. That is just, I'm, I'm so pumped about that. That's a fantastic. All right, so I turned on the AC five minutes ago, let it cool down, and 56. 56, 57-ish degrees compared to the 50 that was coming out of the van. That blows my mind. Our water-based 12-volt system is more efficient and cooler than our massive home system. That just blows my mind. Well, that is it for today. Thank you for sticking with me on that install. Um, I've decided I'm gonna do another video just testing out the system as we travel and once we get on the road. Um, but honestly, this is gonna be a game changer for van life. Um, I mean, this is, this is nuts. Give it a year or two and this system will be in every van out there. I'm just honestly just blown away. Thank you for watching. See you next time.